That's not goofing off. No funny business. Everything about Starbucks is like, it's, it takes forever. Like, you make a cup of instant coffee in 10 seconds. Well, maybe 30 seconds, if I'm being honest. And uh, I can make a cup of French press coffee in, I don't know, I think it takes like a minute probably to scoop it out, heat up the water, pour it in the pot, and filter it collectively. Starbucks, it's like, you gotta drive there. Uh, and you gotta wait, and it always takes like 10 minutes. It's like, I'd be done drinking the cup of coffee by now if I just made it myself. It's not fast. It's not worth it. I mean, it's okay. Maybe in 1990 it was impressive or something. I don't know. I don't think it really tastes all that amazing compared to. Uh, just if you, all you gotta do is grind your own beans. It's the thing. Like, you know, if you get it pre ground or if you drink instant or whatever, that's fine. Like, it's not. That's not Starbucks quality. That's gonna, you know, just be a little on the bland side. But uh, if you just get the whole beans and you grind them, just get an electric grinder. See, why does he die? In th I wasn't in power up mode there, and he dies like instantaneously. I don't know why that is. Uh, what am I missing there? What am I not paying attention to? Okay, this one on three. You just grind your own beans and it tastes just as good as Starbucks. I mean, really, it's not that special. This whole steamed milk thing, that's all. I mean, that's a minor difference. I don't frankly have any problem with just adding some milk out of their fridge. You just set it on the counter. You pour a little into a measuring cup, you set it on the counter before you put the coffee in your French press or the coffee machine or whatever warms up a little bit setting on the counter so it's not ice cold going into your coffee and then it's perfectly fine and it cools down your coffee to a drinkable temperature so I'm not one of these people that's burnt my tongue so much that I think Starbucks tastes amazing like I don't want super hot coffee blasting my taste buds off that that's like the best way to ruin your day is to drink really hot coffee and burn your tongue because it just ruins the entire day so like not only am i do i not taste the coffee now I enjoy that but i'm not gonna enjoy any of the other food i eat today i'm not gonna what the hell was that Uh, you know, my tongue is just going to be sore all morning, and I'm not going to enjoy lunch. Uh, and maybe even tomorrow. Still hurts. Terrible. Don't bring your tongue. Better off drinking cold coffee. But I do think if you burn your tongue enough times, you will also sort of lose your entire ability to taste things, and maybe that would have benefits. Maybe you just eat healthier food because you don't like anything. Although I think probably I would just not eat anything. Like my dad smoked cigarettes and drank hot black coffee all his life, and uh, he has no idea what anything tastes like. Unless there's a tablespoon of black pepper and a tablespoon of salt on it. It's flavorless in his opinion.
over a coffee shooting for you, courtesy of Riding 5. I think a lot of people don't realize how deep I should, oh man, I should stream Riding 5. Maybe if uh, I can get anyone actually watching, that would be a good idea. Because uh, people don't realize how deep the coffee subplot is in that game. They think, oh, it's so dumb. They talk about coffee. Focus on the. You, should, you guys should focus on the mission, not the coffee. It's like that's exactly the point of the coffee subplot. Is that the coffee is a distraction, but also a reward. And so if you're running it on. You know, in the first few stages, it's not hard to be playing it like the top rank, S rank. You should have to. They're easy stages, and you should have to not get hit. Uh. And then, um, the dialogue changes based on the rank of the stage tree, or the, the stage in the rank tree that you're on. If you're at the top rank, they're like, uh, I'd love to have a coffee now, but I think that's not going to be possible. Uh, because they got to shoot stuff. But then if you screw up a bunch, then they're like, oh, did you know that Arabica beans are from like this region of Africa? Boy, it sure is nice to sit down and drink coffee. And the other characters are like, will you shut the fuck up about coffee? Like you're, we're not doing a good job here. And you're just going on and on about coffee, you goddamn idiot. So it's like, yeah, the game is aware. That you, you know, people want to judge it immediately based on the fact that they think it's stupid, but like, I mean, I think that makes you the stupid one, that you aren't actually paying attention to the fact that the game 100% agrees with you, that it is stupid to get distracted by coffee, but you know, that's, you know, a humanizing element of these characters, that they, like, think things that a normal person does, and... We would all like to be at home drinking coffee instead of fighting a war against sentient crystals or whatever. Luckily, I am at home playing drinking coffee when I'm playing riding, and that, that's kind of what's funny about it also. Is it's like, well, this is a game. Uh, and it's on make believe. reason to have super dramatic plots for everything. There's a lot of too much drama these days in storytelling. Everything has to be, you know, even comedy is super dramatic. My live blog today, not about shooting. It's cheap and easy. Real life is full of it. You don't need it all the time in fiction. Lowest form of entertainment. Oh, I got distracted. I thought that the sound was me taking damage, not her. Longe has that problem too, where like sometimes you hear the player damage sound for a different enemy. But that wasn't the same sound, it was just a, it was a girl going wah. It all sounds the same. startup noises here.
remember they used to call music like this butt rock. I don't know if anyone uses that term anymore. I don't think I've heard it in a long time. But like they call Sonic music butt rock. I don't know what it means. I mean, where that comes from. Who came up with that? But it's like just it's like cheesy, really cheesy, uh, fake dramatic sounding synth guitar uh, rock music. Like not like wanna be rock, basically. That's kind of what it means. doesn't apply to all video game rock music or, or metal. Uh, it's just like hear a lot of like whiny guitar, like whiny guitar synth. What do you think of that term? Oh, it's really for a change. I don't have power up these against this guy, so I'm going to need some bond. Uh, I'm always trying to get in close to use this flamethrower, but probably a mistake, makes it making things harder on myself in these boss fights. Look at those sides on the first boss, look at the circular blades he throws out. I'm definitely making that one harder by every time when I try to get close. Come back and hit him with the shot. Alright. I, um, I don't really care that much about the clear anymore, because this is the third and what I said would be the last session of playing this game. Uh, before I go back to playing Guangye. And so I'm going to go to one of the extra stages. Oh, unless I hold the rapid fire button to skip dialogue and end up going to this stage. Whoops. I might have time for one more credit. Yeah. The golem stopping at Starbucks. That'll take 80 minutes to get two cups of coffee. They gotta pick the beans there. They travel all the way to Africa, pick the beans, travel back, and they dry the beans or whatever. Three weeks later, you have your cup of coffee. It costs one hundred fifty dollars.
Huh. Must be, you know, at the extent. Wow. It was kind of accidental. I wasn't really using the power up uh, nearly as much as I was supposed to be. Uh, so it seems like I just kind of lucked into that. Good example of what I was talking about the other night when I was saying about games being too easy when you can do something without understanding what you did. It's like, yeah, you could argue, like, oh, I know the fundamentals of Death Smiles well enough that, like, instinctively I was doing the right stuff, but it's not actually really true. I, I was just kind of messing around. That's it, I think you need to No matter what your skill level was. in place to mostly to kill the centaurs before they can do their lance attack which shoot the ton of bullets. And we're gonna need a power up there. Maybe the other is gonna shoot something that I didn't like. It's funny, uh, no, I don't know if these guys are officially called ogres, but they're definitely ogres. Um, in the uh, video game tradition, I'm like, they're so identifiable as such to me, I guess, because I played Ogre Battle 64, and that was the first time I'd ever heard the word ogre. And they have, like, big looking guys that look similar to these ones, uh, which are the ogres for the title, although it's also kind of like used as a synonym for demons, um, and it's not based on, that game's not deriving from like the Jap any Japanese words like oni or anything like that, or whatever the, the term for ogre would be. It's named Ogre Battle because the guy that made it, you see him as like the Queen, and they had a song called Ogre Battle, and so it's just totally weird use of the word. But he did make them look like what you see Japanese ogres as and stuff. Um, and of course, now the word ogre is like you for Shrek memes and stuff, but. Uh, I always thought of Shrek as like the derivative ogre, or like a, an incorrect use of the term ogre, because I was so familiar with Ogre Battle 64 as a kid. Like that was 100% what an ogre was to me. Of course, it's not accurate in the, uh, the history of the word, it, you know, etymologically. Oh, it's used in fiction more refers to like a Shrek type character, like just a gross giant person. At this point, I'm just kind of counting on my power up to be ready to go instead of using bombs. It's definitely pretty risky, uh, but I'm just starting to get a sense of how many items I'm picking up. Alright, it's Jitterbug o'clock. Um, I'm gonna have like, I think I have nine bombs. So, I think it's because I have enough HP though, it's worth just taking hits against Jitterbug uh, and not using the bomb. Should be able to take three hits, or two hits. So I can kill him.
Ah, you bitch. Come on. Ah, come on. Alright. Life up. Jittering bitch. Right, and now, oh, it's not a full life up. Okay, I didn't know that. Come back, actually, back exactly to where I started when I, I began fighting him. But it's still a good pick because now I'm just gonna bomb Tyranno Satan because I still haven't really seen this game in five years. I ran like one quick death the other night. Honorable finish, I'm a dishonorable player. No problem with that at all. Oh. Uh, bombs. Slipped on that one. I wasn't gonna use it until I was actually closer to being hit. Yay! <laughs> it's anticlimactic of finishes you could ask for. But that's what you do when you're new to the game and when you haven't played it in a long time. Oh my god, Jitterbug was the first to have all along, and now he's gonna jump into hell or some shit. Who cares? Like Doom Guy at the end of Doom 64. Look, sound like Doom Guy too. I'm guessing that this is like, oh, I want to be your friend or fuck you and go to hell. Well, I picked the one that I think says fuck you and go to hell. It's approved. Yep. Fuck me. I'm gonna go to hell. Um. Let's see, this is worth my. I don't even want to be seeing that on stream. I really don't care for that. I mean, maybe these games are... Yeah, I don't like that stuff with the little kids. But anyway, I cleared it after only three days since revisiting. Like, the easiest clear possible. Just bombing through the final boss, so... Um... Not a great one, but it's good to be able to return to something and finish it off quickly. Oh, Van Arctic. Um, I'm glad you dropped by. Did you see much of that, or uh, did you just drop in? Just dropped in. Well, it wasn't much to miss. Uh, it was a pretty sloppy run all around. I took a lot of damage, and uh, on Jitterbug, I um, just like burned through my health bar, waiting for that life up, <clears throat> and bombed the hell out of Tyranno Satan. Oh, and now we got the the Satan Claws to be continued that they added to Mega Black Label. Let's see, that is 219,105,000. That wasn't even 
Wait, the second extend is 300 million, I think. So, about two-thirds away the second extend. 